Okay guys, after you wire your basement, this is how to make up your sub panel. After you do the basement here. You'd run all your wires to this sub panel. Oh, I hope that wasn't the battery. Run all these to this. Take the cover off. You'll want to turn the power off um, at the outside. Turn the power off outside first, and then pull all these out. Okay, and then I'm gonna strip one, and then for time I'll turn it to turn it back on and show you the rest of them when we get there. So take your sheathing like this. Leave you about a half inch down in the panel and just barely nick it on both sides. Pull and that'll pull all off like that. And then what I like to do is then cut the label off at the bottom. That one said micro hood. So then what I do is put it back on the wire that it come off of so then I know the labeling for later purposes, labeling purposes later. Okay, so take the paper off like that. Okay, you want to do that to all the wires guys. As soon as I get them all stripped, we'll get it back on and show you. Okay guys, now that we've got all the wires stripped off, I wanted to show you um, what you want to do that's important here. Okay. Is that out? Is that out? Oh. Okay, is, uh, okay, so inside of a sub panel after outside, you want to separate all the neutrals. So see how I've got all my grounds here? This grounds to the panel. They'll be green. My ground main wire coming in from outside. And we'll show that to you outside as well on how to do the outside part. Outside, you bond the neutral and the ground together where it first comes in. But after you come into the house and into the sub panel in the basement, you separate them. So I get all them done and then I'll start putting all the neutrals like you see. We'll start putting all the neutrals here over here on the neutral bar on up. And how I like to do it is I keep my wires in half here. So what we do is we put all the 14 wire on one side and all the 12 and all and on the other. And then a 220 over here and we have another 220 over here, which means the oven and the dryer and you'll have an AC unit that's all 220 stuff anyway and then when we get done with all the neutrals like I shown here show you here I'll go ahead and put all the neutrals on there and all the grounds are on to here and then I'll turn on and we'll show you uh, breakers and then we'll go to that point Okay guys, so I've got the, now I've got all the neutrals landed on the neutral bar and have started on the breakers. This is on the finish electrical that we do and then this might help too if you're accidentally on the rough or just starting, you put the main uh, wires up at the top there. This is called a lug only. 
There's no main breaker. The main breaker to this one is outside at the meter. And if you need to know the wire size, uh, you look in the code book or ask me in the comment below. I can make a video on wire size, how how you can tell and know what wire to run to what, how big, how many, anything you might need in my comment section down below and I can also do videos on it of any kind of wiring you want or can think of I will do a video on for you guys just let me know which ones you need but we'll be doing a lot of residential commercial light industrial um, stuff conduit bending on this channel a lot of stuff like that control work switching Okay, anyway, when you run the 220 for the air conditioner line, you do a 10-2 right here, and it's a 10 wire. They call it a 10-2 because there's 10, it's 10 gauge, excuse me, and then there's two wires in it and with ground, and then there's the ground right here. So 10 wire, but see one of them's white, so don't take that to the neutral. This is a 220 wire that we use for the AC compressor you only need two wires so we get a 10-2 but it only like comes like this it comes with a white and a black so just remember don't take that one to the neutral bar that white will come down and go to the two pole breaker now the oven it's an 8-3, so that's that one right there. He's an 8-3. Now since we need the three wires, we have a black and a red in it, and a white and a ground. So that one's a little more easier to do and identify. So the black and the red go to the breaker, and the white will go to the neutral on that one. Because the ovens do need a neutral. So that black and red came down and come and went to that breaker. Two pole, the black and the red. And then I was just in the middle of doing it for the dryer. The dryer is a 10-3. Again, it needs a neutral. So we need three wire. So 10, one, two, three. And then you say with ground. And then there's the ground. And going down to the ground bar. And it's white went to the neutral because the dryer needs a neutral. The AC compressor that I was telling you about does not need a neutral and that's how we can get away with just doing the 10-2. If it did, we would need to go the 10-3 like the dryer, but it does not need a neutral. It just needs the 220 volts. 240 is what it really is. 240 volts. So we use that on it. Okay guys, and then you, these breakers, this is a Eaton panel, these breakers just uh, push in and out fairly easy on that, um, get on the side there, that bus, this little notch right here snaps over that blade there onto that bussing, and then this hook here got it off so this notch here hooks around to the back of the breaker right there actually there see that these little notches and hooks so you want to put it in like this you put it on an angle like that in so it catches and, and you can feel how it catches that back if you pull back on it a little bit it won't let you have the breaker back. That's how you know you've got that you're uh, hooked in and then when you got that hooked in like that back there it's simply just pushing and push in until it don't go anymore and it's on and then at that point you'll then put your wire under the screw tighten it down and when we're done we will then come on these you got to push all the way off that's a good one to know too is on these you have they come pre-tripped 
from the factory. So what you got to do is you got to push them all the way off and then back on like that. Okay. So if they ever trip, they're going to look like that and they'll be in the half. A lot of people aren't sure and they'll call electricians out when simply all they had to do was just push it all the way off. Hit it that one. Just push it all the way over like that and then back on. So all these are new breakers. They all came in the in that see they're not see how they won't go on go on and stay on? They're they're uh they came pre uh tripped from the factory. Okay guys, let me get the rest of these on. Oh, I was gonna put this on. This is the 220 for the for the dryer. Right, not all over the other 220s. Okay, and I usually do the black first. So it'll go on to I always put it on the first, the black. You can do black or red. And by the way, guys, this does not matter if you put the black one on that one or if you put the black one on that one. It does not matter. 240 is 240 no matter how you look at it. Okay, so don't sweat on the color of the wire. Electricity don't care what color the wire is. So, pick a screw and I just stick with black first because it goes black, red, blue on down. So I stay with black and then red. And you only need to strip about no more than a half. I would say more like three eighths. And then make sure you get it under that screw. If you don't strip on off enough and that screw goes down and onto the plastic, it won't turn on and won't work. I've had uh, new guys do that. So you want to make sure and strip you off enough wire to get on there. A lot of other little tricks too to know if you got it tight or not. Go ahead and give it a little pullback like that. You know, so that it'll, you know that it's stuck and the screw's got it and it's not coming out. Um, I don't know what else here. Uh, yeah. That's it on putting the breakers on and then you just keep going on down all your breakers. I'm doing the 20s on this side because this is 12 wire. I've got all my 15s on this side because this is all of our 14 wire. Except for our AC220 that I already told you about that's white. And some guys want to tape this so that it don't look like it is even a neutral at all. Because some guys will get confused and want to take it to the neutral. And yeah, don't do that when it go, comes from the AC compressor. Some guys will even tape it either black or red or... Anyway, that's up to you. Some inspectors will make you. Don't be alarmed if they do that. And so I'll finish making up these last few breakers on here and show you it all done. And we'll go from there. Get my face on. Okay. okay guys, here's the panel all done. I've got all the wires onto the breakers. Uh, I leave these tabs on here so I know where they go always. That's another good, really good idea. Is leave these notes on here, or the labels. I always do that. And then, that way you'll know what they do forever. Um, yeah, this is it. I think it looks great. Um, we do a loop in the wire right here to in case you ever have to replace this panel you'll have some extra wire that's a good uh, thought and idea uh, this is a 125 amp panel and so our wire size is we ran a 2 watt to here yep Taylor even sometimes runs a 2 wire I don't yeah anyway okay hope you guys got all that where you do the neutrals separate from the grounds on the sub panel I'll take you out to the meter side where the main breaker is and then what you do here guys is you just wiggle these out of the panel 
Jeremy's got it all labeled nice here. You have to have it labeled good or they'll fail on inspection. And then you just knock out those little clips here, right here. Show them one. These guys right here, they just wiggle out. Um, when you wiggle them, they come right out and you make, you want to make sure and only take out the ones you need. If not, you'll have to put a breaker blank in if you get excited and take too many out. The inspector will have you do a blank in it. A blank in it. And then he puts the cover on and that is a sub panel install. Okay. Okay guys. Alright, so this is a 125 amp service that was what they call that. Okay, so there's a 125 amp breaker. Here is our wire that goes on into the house. So this went into the sub panel. Curious here, I thought that was two. So this wire went into the sub panel that we showed you how to make up and to do all the breakers. But the one thing I want to show you here that's uh, critical is this right here, right over here. So this is the only spot this does this, guys. Your neutral and your ground are tied together. Okay, and right here as well. So this ground went down and went to the rebar, which they call a eufer. You want your rebar guys to leave one up when, if you're building a house, when you first start it, when they do the foundation, you want to tell the rebar guys, and usually they know, but you tell them where you want it, and you want it in somewhere by the panel, the service, so that you don't have to run this wire too far. So that goes down and goes to the rebar. This one ground here came in our wire, which is an um, SCR as we call it, a service entrance wire that went to the sub panel. It comes with a ground in it as well. But the neutral and the ground tie together into the same bar with the ground bar. Then your two wires come up, one to one side, one to the other. And it don't matter which here either. 240 is 240 no matter which color you put on to there. Okay, and then we'll put the breaker on and turn it on and we're going to check the house out. Also guys, if you like what you've seen, please hit the like button, subscribe, tell your friends, family, anybody that needs to wants to know how to do some electrical or any other questions, comment in the comment section. And let us know too what other videos you want us to see do. If you want to see another video on something, let us know. I will make you a video on whichever you'd like to see done. We appreciate it and thanks for everything and for you guys we can do this. Have a nice day.